I have a question for you. What is your superpower? And now you say, what kind of question is that, Patrick Munoz? My superpower, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Bear with me. When I say superpower, I'm talking about something you're naturally good at, that comes easily to you, or that you're passionate about, or that uh, works for you, or sometimes doesn't work for you. And that's what I want to talk about. How to make your superpowers work for you. Well, first of all, you've got to identify what one of your superpowers is. We're all born with these different abilities. Each one of us is unique. I was working recently with a client and we were going through a talk they were going to give. And it's some pretty personal things in the conversation. And at a moment they started to cry. And they said, oh, gosh, I'm really sorry. I just cry so easily sometimes. Well, that's a superpower right there. Not the kind of crying where it's all it's uncontrollable and suddenly everything, you know, uh, falls apart. But what's underneath that crying? Underneath that crying is sensitivity, is empathy, is caring. And that's what we're talking about when you have a superpower. As a speaker, you're a storyteller. Think about all of the content that is out there at this time of life. All that content on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, not to mention all the platforms we have, Netflix, HBO Max, name it. It goes on almost ad infinitum, although there is a stop to it. But there is tons of content constantly being produced. And what is the core of all that content? The core is producing things that give us a feeling that evoke a feeling, a sense of belonging, a sense of anger, of joy, of whatever. But it's that feeling. It's storytelling. Many, very variations on a theme of storytelling, but it's storytelling. And so in the case of my client where the crying comes too easily, what's underneath it? Well, underneath it is the ability to care about what you're sharing, to have that connection. And by coloring what it is you talk about with that real connection you naturally feel, suddenly you become that much better of a storyteller, of a communicator. I have a relative who recently said to me, you know, I've always felt that I have sort of this sixth sense in the sense of I feel kind of intuitive about things. Well, that's a superpower right there. The fact that they can have that empathy, that awareness. And again, what's underneath that? That is a sensitivity. Being able to grow your sensitivities, grow your ability to have empathy with another person, either intellectual or feeling empathy, but being able to identify with somebody else, that helps connect you to that person you're talking to. It helps you connect to that story you're sharing. Recently, I saw a show, uh, a play, a live play, theater's back, it's so exciting. And it was about two people who bond over basketball. Now, my passion is not basketball. You think it is, I'm a really tall guy, right? Uh, and uh, well, it's not. But my neighbor's passion is basketball and all kinds of sports. We all have all, all of our different passions. And in this story, in this play, these two guys who otherwise would not have much in common start to bond over basketball, specifically over LeBron James, one of our greatest basketball players ever. And it takes them through uh, some history of uh, his career and where they had no kind of connection that bonded them. They were passionate about it. Whatever you're passionate about can be your superpower.